Uh, hello, my name's Orlando. I'm going to be talking to you about what we're doing at Sony to improve the optimized debugging experience. So, I think it's important to talk about because the state of optimized debugging uh, is pretty terrible. Uh, it's notoriously bad, especially for C++, which is what we mostly care about. Uh, our users complain about it, people complain about it on social media, uh, and you know, we had an optimized debug info roundtable with people turning up, so that was, that was good. Um, yeah, we can't just blame the optimizer for rewriting the program, and we can't just say the standard template library relies too heavily on inlining, because we know that there are bugs in the compiler that cause the debugger to lie to the developer. Um, and it turns out there's quite a lot of low-hanging fruit in this area. Uh, we wrote a tool called Dexter, which we uh, demoed at Euro LVM last year. Uh, I'm not gonna go into details about how to use Dexter so much, but I'm gonna give a quick overview of what it does. Dexter takes a source code test file annotated with user debugging expectations as comments, uh, invokes a compiler, and drives a debugger with an automation API uh, to produce a detailed report uh, with a step-by-step -step debugging trace and then a breakdown of what that trace means in terms of the originally encoded debugging expectations. So our workflow when using Dexter looks something like this. We pick an area to interrogate. Uh, this means you know, generally a particular optimization pass in Clang. We write Dexter tests that we think will stimulate this part of the compiler. We then run the Dexter tests, investigate the results, uh, tweak the tests, keep repeating this until we find interesting behavior and then report bugs and hopefully fix them. I'm gonna show you an example bug now. It's based, uh, well, example test case, based on a real Dexter test case, which found a real bug. Uh, but it's been reduced for simplicity here. And it shows an incorrect variable value uh, being shown to the user. So I'm representing the debug expectations visually. You know, in an actual Dexter test, we have the, the comments, but uh, for simplicity, I just have colors here. Uh, in this test case, we know that uh, cond is always true. So uh, we're interested in the variable Z. Uh, and we expect it to have the value five in the yellow range and then six in the blue range. But when we run it through Dexter uh, as an optimized build of this program, Dexter tells us that actually the value six is seen in this larger range. So what's going on here? Uh, digging around, it turns out that it's code jam prepares for. Uh, it has a part of it called uh, place debug values and, and just moves around debug values uh, fairly haphazardly. A debug value is just an IR intrinsic which tells us where we can find a particular source variable. So looking at the source again, uh, we have a redundant assignment to Z, which is effectively just an alias for X at this point, so we optimize it away and we leave behind a debug value which says where we can find the value for Z. And this is good, this is fine. But CodeGen Prepare comes along and moves the debug value up to the last uh, store to the location operand, so the assignment to X there. Uh, and now, when the user steps through the program, they see Z as having the value six in this, in this blue range here, uh, regardless of the value of cond, uh, even though it was originally in an if statement and before the actual source level assignment. So really lying to developers, pretty bad. Uh, it turns out that exact bug is pretty trivial to fix, but subsequent passes rely on that broken behavior, so it's still not fixed. Uh, we've got uh, 30 or so bugs open under this umbrella, umbrella bug on the screen here. I've got a link later. Uh, and they're, they're all similar sort of lying to the developer, bugs varying in severity. Uh, most of them are fixed or in review or uh, at least in open discussion with the community. Uh, just before I wrap up, uh, I wanna talk a bit more about Dexter itself. Uh, it helps us with this exploratory testing because it gives us a fast edit, compile, debug cycle. Uh, you know, we can tweak test cases and we don't have to manually step through the program again to find weird behavior, we just get a report. Uh, debugger agnostic commands means we can swap out debuggers uh, very easily and you know, compare behavior. But also, uh, separately, uh, but just as importantly, if we keep all of our interesting test cases, we get a debug info regression test suite, which is resilient to the way that debug info is encoded. Uh, it's for this reason that we think Dexter is useful for LLVM. Uh, we have an RFC up at the moment uh, where we uh, propose that we use Dexter to drive uh, the debug info tests, which are currently in LLVM. Uh, and here there's also the umbrella bug that I mentioned before. You can find the, uh, a talk about uh, Dexter, which we gave last year, um, in the RFC, and there's a bunch of other links in there, so you know, I highly recommend people go and check out the RFC if they're interested in this sort of thing. Um, yeah, I'll be wandering around the poster session. I don't have a poster, but yeah, please talk to me if you're interested in this. Uh, yeah, that's me. Thank you.